Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, the most important in life is to reach the state of Gnosis or the state above human. Human state is one of the lowest levels you can possibly be at and people try and go to higher states through many different impractical and uh, diversive and even evil paths like religion. All of these things move you away from truth and gnosis. We try and think that somehow uh, those people that have reached the state of Gnosis, which could be Muhammad, Jesus, Yahweh, whatever you want to call your Buddha, all of these people could be stated that they have reached the state of Gnosis, the state above human, that they are actually uh, you, by joining these organizations, will actually be able to do similar. Well, these uh, turn into institutionalized uh, corrupt systems that actually do the opposite. We need to understand as a general intro, and I will have a complete course, I have a course on general Gnosis teaching right now, which will be expanded soon, and this is kind of an intro to the new course. Now, the first thing you have to understand uh, to reach a state of Gnosis is to remove all your program. This is very difficult. But you have to understand, and I'm not saying on an intellectual level, and I've heard this from many people, oh yes, I get what you're meaning. No, you get what I'm meaning in a booky, researchy, educational reality. You're not really understanding this at a deep level. And that is the fact that everything you know is a complete and total lie. There's absolutely nothing out there that you've been told that has any value that we can say is 100% true. And that includes the fact that the Earth is round. We don't really know that. Is it flat? Well, we don't know that it's flat either. The whole idea is that you have to understand the fact that all information you have is just that. It's information. It's some sort of propaganda, some sort of nonsense. And that propaganda can come from an expert who spent eight years in college being propagandized, being brainwashed, a hundred percent believing that what they're being told is right. So you have to believe nothing because you're living in an urban myth and you have to go to the deep understanding of this and you do this by getting the true facts which are not really hidden from you but you're not going to find them from your local bogus pseudo intellectual type teachers the worst scum on the earth uh, educators in general the dumbadamia community is going to teach you nothing neither is your minister your mother your father the local officials the political party. These are all contrived urban legends of lies, and they can be found out to be lies. People don't understand the true story. Now, the story behind everything is never as it appears. It's all lies that are told to you to keep you in step paying taxes and so they can draw your life force from you. You are living in a hundred percent urban legend and you think it's from the mouth of God. And this can't be some cute little talk here that you either like or don't like. You either embrace this a hundred percent with everything you're made of or you ain't going to make it. The other thing you have to understand as a Gnosis follower as a person who wants to know everything is that we have absolutely no problems in life. We have answers to everything. Now again, this isn't some self-help nonsensical babble. This is the fact. We have solutions for everything. We have solutions for and treatments for every single illness. We have free energy pouring out of our bottoms everywhere. This entire planet is based in a tropic uh, energies, which means it's creating some sort of breaking down energy that can be turned into physical energy or power, so to speak. Uh, so all of this is there. There is no research that needs to be done. There's nothing to be found. We're not looking for zero point energy or anything else such as this. This is all nonsense. 
Now, you have to understand that and embrace it. You've been told that, oh, we need trillions of dollars for cures and we're looking and we're almost close. This is what they tell people all the time and keep brainwashing them that uh, what well, we're close to it, we just need a little more money. This is the con game that uh, comes from gypsies. Just another hundred dollars and we'll be able to manifest what you want. And of course, the biggest gypsies of them all are your government, your ministers, and all these other frauds. Do you understand that? All the answers are there and they have to be applied. Now, you're probably not going to understand that. The two concepts I just gave you are way over your consciousness reality that you can really grasp, that you can put your head around, that you really get the bigger picture. And I'm not talking about some pseudo-intellectual babble. Oh, yeah, everything's suppressed, and yeah, we... No, no. It is there. It is waiting to be used. It's sitting in your lap, which brings us to the third question of the Gnosis Path. What makes the human species so corrupt that the answers are sitting right in front of them and they refuse to apply them? So these are the great questions of Gnosis that you have to embrace, that you have to understand so that you can move to the next level. Now, life is all about making right decisions, being in a consciousness state to do the right thing that benefits you. And, of course, if it benefits you, generally, if you're on the right path, it benefits the entire society and the world. If everybody is happy and working together, mountains can be moved. Yet, this is not the case whatsoever. Why is that? Well, these are the great questions. You know, some people like to use Zen nonsense, which is another brainwashing uh, bad path, to use things to confuse the mind. And by confusing the mind, it's just supposed to make you put you in a neutral spot to understand things better. One of the better aspects of Zen. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound since nobody hears it? Well, these are all good concepts, but they're also childish and kind of um, off the beaten track, so to speak. They're not really talking about real issues. So these are the real issues that we need to embrace because these three main areas are the stimulus to confront and ultimately change yourself and reach the state of gnosis where you basically know everything you get the actual answers to everything as a person who has reached this stage and has reached gnosis you know what the answers are to everything and as such that's a fantastic edge that moves you forward now this is not a state of empowerment directly you still are given information and say, we got to do this, this, and that to achieve that. Well, maybe you're not going to do that. It's too difficult. It's too hard. It's too stressing. Well, we understand that, but at least you have the information and you have to act upon things. Knowledge without action or wisdom without action is worthless. But you need to know the game. You need to know what's going on because that's how you're going to reach this higher state and make all the right decisions. It's just that simple. So this will be all covered in my new uh, or extended Gnosis course that will be uh, presented soon. And we're going to tell you how to do all these things. We're going to enlighten you on this path. And it's pretty much an entire life course where we take you through every single phase of life so that you can have that all important edge to succeed, basically from cradle to grave. As long as you keep being stuck in the reincarnation cycle and keep coming back to this evil prison uh, camp called Earth, you'll never get anywhere. You need to be able to break free and ascend to the level above human, and this ain't easy. There are so many things against you that it isn't even funny. Your family, your friends, your, your, your relationships, your wife, your husband. All of these people ultimately are working for the opposition against you whether they're doing this directly or indirectly their ignorance is what is affecting you to a lesser or greater degree usually a crippling degree 
And it doesn't have to be something that is negative. The fact that your family is connected in whatever things and you go to a top college and you go into a top corporation and make good money, well, that's a type of enslavement. And maybe it appears to be good, but in the long run, it's very negative. The same thing with being poor and on the street. Well, you're pushed into a very terrible situation which you have to deal with. You don't have too many choices, and the same thing happens with the very rich to a certain degree. You don't really have opportunities when you're rich because you're brainwashed to follow a particular path and protect your money just as poor people are in the same terrible predicament. But gnosis will bring you past it. Are you able to know who's telling you the truth? And are you able to listen to something, read something, and pick out what is true and discard their own personal prejudice and out-and-out lies and disinformation that they are putting in there to push you into their position, whether they're doing this uh, in a more altruistic way or not, they're feeding you disinformation and lies, which then change your life. Are you able to figure that out? Very few people are because you come from a very prejudiced position. You've been brainwashed by so many bad people. Uh, this is ministers, your parents. I mean, you believe what your parents believe. You eat what your parents eat. You do everything of what your parents do. And when you start getting out there into the real world, this changes somewhat. But then you go into the new parents, which are your clergy, your teachers, and they start brainwashing you yet again. Well, where is the path of ultimate wisdom and truth? Can you take what is information and understand, is that information wisdom? Well, this is the great ultimate battle in life. You can have everything you desire physically, emotionally, no matter what it is, but you ultimately have to break the reincarnation cycle and you have to go on to a much higher state. This is very, very difficult to do. But there are ways of doing it, and it starts with how you approach the world, understanding you know absolutely nothing, using reverse thinking, is water wet? No, it's not. It's raining out. No, it's not. You constantly, whatever information you take in, you use uh, opposite thinking to it. So these are one of the many techniques out there to uh can f uh, to uh, change your brainwashed condition thinking from a bunch of garbage. All these books out there that are religious books are just filled with garbage that doesn't pertain anything to your life. They're just a compilation of ancient stories and certainly you can get something out of these books if you're at a higher level of consciousness, but very few people are. So you get, you know, the people that take it verbatim that this is exactly what happened Happened. And then, of course, they twist it and manipulate it for their own belief systems. And this is the kind of world we live in. And we've had you know, thousands of years of this, and you can find out what's really been happening. What's been happening is we really are a pretty messed up evil society. And there are so many different things happening and influences, and uh, whether they are spiritual, whether they are earth-based, whether they're extraterrestrial. I mean, it's a very complicated world out there. But if you know Gnosis, you're able to navigate this horrible minefield of life that you have to walk through every day and hope that you survive. You're going to need help to do that. You're going to need to change your thinking. You're going to need to evolve as a human being to a higher level, the level above human. The breaking of the reincarnation cycle that basically doesn't produce much learning and has come to a point where it's just producing suffering. Well, if you want to alleviate suffering, if you want to achieve great things, if you want the edge in life on every single level, including this physical materialistic world we live in, you're going to have to understand and follow the path of Gnosis. So watch for that course coming. It's exciting. It's groundbreaking. There's nothing else out there like it, and it works. Until next time.